it is likely that whatever we mine on the moon mm -hmm. will stay on the moon or go to other places in the solar system where we're doing work. Right. It's not likely that the moon has something so valuable that we need that to we bring, it, bring back, it back to the Earth. Especially since the moon was carved out uh, of our crust in a collision between a Mars-sized protoplanet mm -hmm. and Earth. Right. It sideswipes up, our, our crust goes into the orbit, co co coalesces to form the moon. Right. And so the moon is, it, it's our crust. That's probably not too valuable. No, it's not too valuable, not too valuable. Yeah. To, to go there and then bring it back. So now, the but suppose we did. Suppose, okay. Suppose we mined 100% of the moon. All right. Brought the whole damn moon back piece by piece. I love it. Okay. All right, we still have tides. Right. From? The sun. The sun. All right, because... Sun tides are about a third as strong as the moon tides. Right. All right, so you still have tides. Not as big, not as bodacious, but you still have tides. How much heavier does Earth weigh? The moon is a little more than 1% the mass of the Earth. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. I ain't doing nothing. That ain't... <sighs> that ain't doing nothing. Uh, that's a mosquito. Like, if, if, if... So if you weigh 100... A mosquito on an elephant. So if you weigh... So 100 pounds on Earth... Mm -hmm. You'd weigh 101 pounds and a little and change. Oh, no, that's that's barely and, and worth it. You fluctuate that. That's just not worth the trip. Between meals and between poop. Right. Okay, you, you fluctuate. Yeah, that happens that. to me every morning. 